unwise actions that create suffering. Inquiry of the Second Noble Truth. Colon. List situations, circumstances, and feelings that you have used harm. Yes. Full behavior to try to avoid. Name the emotions, sensations, and thoughts that come to mind. When you abstain, are there troubling memories, shame, grief? Unmet needs behind the craving. How can you meet these with calm, dash, passion and patience? What things did you give up in your clinging to impermanent end? Unreliable solutions. For example, did you give up relationships? Why? Dash. Financial security, health, opportunities, legal standing, or other I am. Dash. Important things to maintain your initial behaviors. What made the addiction more important to you than any of these things you gave? Up. Are you clinging to any beliefs that fuel craving and aversion? Beliefs that deny the truth of impermanence are beliefs about how things in life should be. What are they? If you have experienced information-based trauma or social injury, death, life, how can you meet the experience in a way that honors your true self without creating more pain and suffering? The third noble truth, ending the suffering. It is possible to end our suffering when we come to understand the nature of our craving and realize that all our experiences are tempo. Dash. Rary by nature, we can begin a more skillful way to live with the distance. Dash. It's faction that is part of being human. We don't need to be torn apart by our thoughts and feelings that say, I have to have more of that. For recovery. We are responsible for our own actions and for the energy we give our thoughts and feelings. This means we have some control over how we respond to our own suffering. This is the unpleasant emotions take place within us. We create them through our response to experience. We don't need to depend on any or anything else to remove the causes of our suffering. We may not be able to control anything out there, but we can learn to choose what we think, say, and do. We come to under, dash, stand that if our thoughts, words, and actions are driven by greed, hatred, our confusion, we are creating suffering within suffering. If we let go of these attitudes, we can lessen suffering or even create freedom. We can choose to give up these causes of disturbing and unpleasant emotions. This is the true empowerment and freedom of recovery, recognizing that happiness and suffering are up to us based on how we choose to respond to our experiences.
his actions strengthen our sense of balance, kindness, compassion, loving, and equanimity. When we act unskillfully or un dash wisely, when we steal, lie, take advantage of somebody else, or cause intentional harm based on our own craving or delusions, it creates an immediate sense of imbalance. It fights with our intention to avoid harming others. Karma is determined by our intention and applies to any volitional or purposeful action. The result of our volitional actions may be an increase in our happiness or may lead to additional suffering. There is no actor apart from action, and there is no action without intention. Unskillful actions leave us less able to meet the next challenge or pain we face. For example, when we steal, we have to immediately justify to ourselves why our greed was more important than the harm we caused. By taking, we must create a cover story, hide our actions, and adjust to the fear of getting caught. Ultimately, if the theft gets discovered, we might have to deal with financial or legal consequences, or face a lack of trust from our community.